Lucky 1000 and today we went we went to the um, Walmart a few days ago so I've had this for a little bit but I haven't opened it up yet so um I found this what I have um on Facebook and I was going to order it and I think it was like 25 bucks or something on on Facebook and you probably guys if you have Facebook you've probably seen it um but when you click on it and you do all the all the shipping and everything, it ended up being like $35, $40. And I said no, so I didn't I didn't proceed to it. But then I went to Walmart and as the, as seen on TV products that they have there, we found it. So I brought it home. This is the Fast Fountain. And I wanted to see if this was gonna work because I thought it'd be pretty, you know, and it might help the birds, you know, a little bit attract them to the, my fountains you know I have um bird baths I have three of them so um I thought well this would be cool so I wanted to see if it would work I bought one and if it does work and I like it I might use get another one for the backyard I'm going to use this in the front yard so anyways let's see what it does and we'll open it up and see how good this is so what this is is a fast fountain it's by um, Bulbhead, which is as seen on TV products. Um, you can use it in the pools, ponds, birth, bird, bird baths, if I could talk, and backyards, if you had like a pond in your backyard or something like that. This is no installation, no batteries needed, no wiring or plumbing, lightweight and powerful. So this is what it looks like on the back. I'll let you see that, and you can, it has different sizes, I guess, it is a new simple way to add a beautiful water feature, particularly anywhere. This small, lightweight, and powerful fountain takes seconds to set up and is solar powered, eliminating the need of for batteries and recharging. Just put it in your pool, pond, or bird bath and create a beautiful feature with fast fountain instantly. So. Let's open it up and see, you know, what's it entail. And we'll go from there. I'm trying to make sure you can see me a little bit. There we go. All right, that's a little bit better. Okay, so I'm going to open this up and we'll see. Oh, maybe. I put all these tapes. I should have got a knife. So I could tape off. But I was hoping this, I'm hoping it works because I thought it would be cool and it might attract the birds to come and, and stuff like that. So let's see what we get. Okay, so here's your so-called um, directions. If you can read them, look how small they are. Yeah, so. And We'll see. It has a warning label on here. Uh, choking hazard, small parts, keep away from children. This is not a toy. Do not make any no modifications to this unit. Avoid putting fountain in sun when not immersed in water so as not to damage the, the motor. Keep electronics and other items that could be damaged away from the water. So. This is what it looks like right here. And on the back, I guess this is your motor here. That's pretty cool. Now, I don't know what these, I guess these little things here are give, give you a different uh, spray. So like this one gives you a, a, a real big spray, like a shower head kind of thing. And this one here would give you like a straight spray. And this one here kind of sprays in the middle, but it lightly sprays around, I guess. That's what it would do. I don't know what this is for. Oh, that's a little tiny one. Look how small that one is. That's a spray too. And then you have, you have two of these. Oh, see, that was a straight one. And then you have another one. So 
too. And that sprays too. I like, I don't know, we could try, we could try this one I guess. I don't know how this works. You put it on here or what? And this doesn't look, oh it just doesn't sit there or does it snap on? Hmm. doesn't look like it snaps on. Does this peel off? Let's see. We better read. <laughs> um, hmm. To assemble fountain. Connect the connection pipe to the pump outlet. Then add your desired nozzle to the connecting pipe. So use one of these. This goes on there. And then I don't know about that. This one. <laughs> so you have this on there. I get that. Those fit, no problem. You have this one and you have the little one that sprays everywhere. And then you're supposed to, I don't know, so there's a picture right there. I'm, I'm going to read this and then I'll come back and see. I don't get this really. Put fountain into water. To assemble a fountain, connect the connector pipe. I guess that's a connector pipe. There's nothing else. Then you're supposed to to the pump outlet. Then add your desired nozzle to the connecting pipe. Well, how do you do that if it don't fit? I mean, you know, it's, it ain't fitting on there. You know, this is maybe you have to put this on there. But that's not fitting on there. It don't fit on here. Ooh, must have lost it. That's what I'm getting out of it. And then you put these. These go on top of here. Yeah, see these here? here? They go on here. So I got that part. And you can pick your spray and what one you want. Here, let's try this one. Click it on there, and then you got that. I get that. Okay. And then you're supposed to push this in there, or maybe that's just a different one. Oh, okay. There we go. So that's how you got it. And these are just individual ones. You can just have them squirt out. So I got a nice spray going on here. Okay. Does it say to peel this stuff off? Um. Before using, remove protective film from the solar panel. Yeah, okay. So we wanna, we wanna take this off, okay? You're gonna take this stuff off first. And that's your protective sealing stuff. There we go. All right, we don't need that. Okay, and then we'll put this uh, back on there, right? So that was easy enough. It stays on there somewhat. You kind of have to push down on it a little bit to get what you want. So what we're going to do, I'm going to take you outside and we'll, I'm sure my bird bath doesn't have any water in it. So I'll clean it up and put some uh, water in there and then we'll see if this works. So stay tuned. Okay guys, now we're outside. I did fill up my bird bath. It had water in it, but it wasn't clean water. So I put some clean water in here. You can hear it. It's wanting to, sorry, wanting to um, make noise. So all you do is place it down and you stick it down. And it's supposed to do its thing, I guess. I Hopefully it has enough water in here. If not, we'll add some. I mean, my, this is, you know, 
Yeah. I don't know. It wants to make noise. So let's see if it'll work. It's not sticking down, but I might have to. I don't know if you could add some more water to this because, you know, this it may not work for all fountains. I don't know. See, it's squirting, but it's not squirting like that book. Not yet. I'm trying to see. It says not to put it in direct sun either. So. And I'm not in direct sun here, so that's kind of cool. It is trying to do it. Uh, you know, it's, it's trying to prime itself. Didn't say how much water your fountain had to have um, that I could see on there. It is squirting, but it's not what I would think. It's uh, fabulous. Let's put a little bit more water in there, okay? So just stay tuned. I'm going to put a little bit more water and see if it'll work that way. Okay, guys. So what I did, I went and got a, a bowl and put some water in it and kind of put it in the fountain a little bit better than the watering hose. But I don't know if it's just because it's solar and it's just new and it's going to keep, it's got to do its thing. But you see, it is doing it. But it doesn't spurt like the box shows you, like it, it's going to look like a complete water fountain, you know. It just spurts. That's what it's doing. So, um, maybe after a while, the sun's been on it a little bit more, you know, you know, the light has. Maybe it'll work a little different. I'm going to change it, change these out, and show you a different one so we can see. And it could be also the type of fountain water, bird bath, sorry, that you have. Um, maybe this one's too shallow. It's not as deep as some of them. So it could be that too. I don't know. So we'll see if this one will work. And it just spurts. That's all it does. I, I don't think it's going to do any more than that, really. And it really, it takes it, the water in, and what it's doing is sucking through there. So you have to put extra water in there, I think, to, to keep it going. Yeah, well, it's doing it, but it's not like the box, believe me. And um, that's the one with all the holes. That's the second one with all the holes. I don't know. Okay, I'm going to try another one and see what it's like. So you get an idea. Now, like, um, oops, I just lost it in the grass here. So we'll try this one. You like my jungle here? I got all kinds of plants in here. They are not weeds. I got roses, I got yellow, and I got pink roses. I got these little, these purple ones here. I don't know if you can see them or not. Uh, back you up a little bit, maybe you can see them. Yeah, there, there it is right there. I got my blue ones over here. I got all kinds of stuff in here. And some of this was already in here. But there are some weeds in here. I need to clean out the weeds, but it's hard to do it until the winter, so gotta kind of wait for the winter to come. All right, let's try this one here. I think I, let's see what this one does. I mean, when you lift it up, you can hear the motor wanting to run. It doesn't have a switch off, so you can't switch it off. You know, you have to put it somewhere, I guess, where it's not going to get the light if you don't want it to work and if you're not using it. Um, or it's, or it's going to wear the motor out. Now that one's just a, it has holes around and then it's supposed to squirt up on the top. That's what that one's supposed to do. But as you can see, it's not really doing it. So, but what I'll do, I'll leave it outside for a little bit and then we'll try it again and see if it gets any better. You know, I let, let it not in the sun, but I'll let it be out here in the light a little bit. 
we might just leave it in the fountain and see if it, you know, eventually just starts working a little bit better. And we'll try also, um, I'll try the one in the backyard. And well, because it's a bigger one, it's a little different. I have to fix it though because it fell over from all the rain, so I gotta pick it up. And I'll do that while I'm letting this just sit here. And let's see. Um, so you take this off, I think, and you can put these on. Oops, I just lost. I think that's what you do with these ones here. They just kind of sit on there, maybe. No, I think it goes on here, too. I don't think so. I don't know. Yeah, because you can't really... So, let me see. Let me put this back on here. So, you can hear the motor. You hear it. It's, which is not, I don't think, very good for it. Oh no, it all came out. Oh no. Uh, okay. And then let's stick this one on top of here. There we go. See if that one will work. That one does pretty good. That's all it does is squirts up. That's what it does. Hmm. Let's try. I want to try this one again. Let's see how well it's working. Because the pump wasn't all the way in, I had to push it up, so maybe that was part of the problem. So, let's take this one off. I got a biker beast, I mean, they're going to think, who the heck is she talking to? And, oops, there it goes on the ground. My fingers, my hands are terrible. So, you just kind of got to push the pump up a bit more. Put this back on. And I already put the little thing on there, so... Let's try and see if that will work a little bit better. A little bit. So I want to bring it more into this water here. I mean, you can center it anywhere. It probably floats around, too, eventually. Yeah. I mean, it works. It's not working like I thought it would. Of course, nothing ever does. You know, when you buy these things, it's... But I'm glad I didn't pay the price online for what they wanted because they were just ripping you off on the shipping. And I figured, well, if I didn't really like it, I could send it, take it back to Walmart and make life a little easier. So, there you go. Let's see if I can get you a closer upper. I think. Oops, sorry. Alrighty. There. Now I can probably bring it up so you can see a little bit better. Get my pushes out of the way here. There you go. Yeah, it's working. I mean, it's not going to squirt like you think it's going to, though. It, it just doesn't spurt. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to let this um, lay out here and then we'll go in the backyard. And um, we will go in the backyard and I'll set up the other bird bath that needs to get up anyways um, and clean it. And by then, because that sucker's heavy, it's not easy to put back up. That's why I couldn't believe it fell over with all the water. I guess it just from the rain, it just fell right over. Hopefully it's not broken. I haven't even gone there and looked at it. So we'll go back there and... We'll bring this back there and I'll fill it up with water and we'll see it because this is a little bit deeper than this one and see if it'll work better back there. So stay tuned, please. 
Okay guys, so now we're in the backyard. I put up my thing. Sorry, it's green. I gotta bleach it, but I, I will do that later. So we got the thing in here. It still was doing about the same as in the other one. I mean, up front, it was still doing the same. So now we got it back here. This is a bigger one. Now, will it do anything? I don't know. We'll see. This bird bath is a very heavy bird bath. It's not that it seem to be doing anything at the moment. It says not to put it in direct sun, so if you're gonna lay it out, you gotta lay it outside for a few minutes and maybe try it that way. I don't think it's doing anything now. It doesn't seem to be doing anything. Let's change this and see if we can get it going here. I'm gonna just use one of those little straight ones. And I use the other one, but this one's got a lot of holes in it. So, go. Well, that's pretty good. It's doing that one really well. So it does that. Well, that's the best one I think I've seen. So it could be because it's not got enough solar rat yet. And then maybe that's why it's not working as well as I think it should. But it's doing that one just fine. Okay guys, I had to switch batteries. I don't know how long this battery is going to last because I had to put the other one on a charger and I wanted this solar thing to kind of get some more light. It looks like it's squirting a lot better than it was. Um, I don't know if you guys can see that. There you go. Yeah. And you can tell that it's squirting a lot better. Okay, so I'm going to switch them so you can see the different ones and let's see if these work any better now that it's been out here for a little bit. Give it a few minutes here. For some reason, this one's going to take a lot more power, I think. I'm trying to move it over. I, I'm not uh, completely balanced, I don't think, on this. So I might have to move my bird bath a little bit. See, it's not wanting to do its thing through this one for whatever reason. Let's try a different one here. <laughs> and we'll see how these work. Okay. Make sure these things are on. Huh. Not really. <coughs> Excuse me. See, these ones aren't working now. Yeah, these ones aren't working on it. So I don't know if it just doesn't have enough oomph in it. Yeah, these aren't even working here now. So let's take this one off. See if it'll squirt. See, it's squirting. Let's see if it'll squirt through there. <coughs> see, it does that with the little ones. So that's kind of good. I mean, it may just not have enough light yet, yet you know? Um, yeah, it could, it could be that. I mean, you know. So that one works really good. And so did the other little one. I'll show you a little closer here. Oops, sorry. There you go. So you can see a bit better. But it is, you know, it is working. This one is. Now the other ones work just fine up front. So I don't know. It, I, I think that it just needs to have a little bit more solar for it to work. 
you know, I mean, it's, it's brand new, it just came out of the box, so, you know, I, I check it tomorrow or whatever, it may, it may really work a lot, you know. I, I don't know how long it would take, I mean, you know, the solar thing to work, so. But you can tell it's on a slant a little bit, and that could be why the other ones aren't working too, so. I have another bird bath, I'm going to check it out, and we'll try it. I'll be back. Okay guys, so we decided to move the fountain, one of the fountains, in. Okay well. guys, so as you saw on the last clip, that just ended that we moved the bird bath where there was direct sun well after that i thought the camera was still rolling and i guess i ran out of sd card so here so you, i'm redoing part of this but now the sun has moved and the water fountain isn't working because the sun it's not in the sun no more so um but what I got, I got some water here, and I did have it earlier, but it didn't take any of that. So here is my pot here, okay? This would be like if you had a pond. I was trying to give you an idea of what it would look like if you had a pond. So let me get my water, the water. more sun here so I'm going to put it in here so you can see a little bit better and uh, hopefully let me get away from it so we have more sun there so yeah see how nice it works there yeah really working good um, so there it is there you go yeah it works really good there it's got to be full sun I don't know what I was seeing or what I was reading that it said to not be in direct sun. But it has to be in direct sun. So maybe I read it wrong. Um, so, Shaver helped me bring the water fountain over as you saw in the last clip, but we didn't get it all in. For me to move it by myself, and pretty much my backyard is getting shady. And by this time of day it is, so. Um, yeah, so it does work. It works really good. Um, yeah. So if you had a pond, I think it'd be great for if you have a lot of a swimming pool that's in full sun. I think it'd be great for. Now see, the shade, sun is moving again, so you're not getting all of it. So let's see if I put it over there. See, there. Now you now that side is more sunnier. Yeah. So, it does work. It's just got to be in full sun. Um, so, of course, it should be. I mean, it's, it's a found, it's solar. <laughs> Duh, you know. I don't know what I was thinking, but anyways. <laughs> you know, solar's got to be in with the sun. I thought maybe you'd get so much sun and it would still work. Now, see, I'm away from it. That's the other one that gives a different, a different look. Excuse me, allergies. And that's another one. So you can see, you know, hopefully you're getting to look at this a little bit better. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. So that's pretty cool. Um, I'll show you the other ones too here. Let me bring you up a little bit and bring you down. I mean, so you can kind of see it a little bit better. There you go. Yeah, see? It works really good. So I'm going to try another one. So, you know, so you can see the different ones that there are here. Um, so, unfortunately, I have a lot of shade. So this is really not going to work for me unless I find a spot that I can at least put one of the bird baths in. Because I really want it for the bird bath. Um, now, as you can see, I got sun over here by the, the lighthouse there, and um, I could put one there, and at this time of day, I would have it, um, but in the mornings, I'm not, because there's no sun there in the morning, so, um, you know, I could put it in the front in the yard there, 
Yeah, it works really good, really. It's just got to be in full sun. So, um, I put it in my garden out front because there's a lot of sun there, especially in the morning. And that would look pretty because I'd be, you know, around my, um, you know, my flowers and stuff. And that would attract the birds to come up to near my flowers and all that. I just couldn't use the one that's in the, uh, underneath the tree. Yeah, look at how high it is. I mean, that's pretty good. That's, I mean, that, to me, it do, it's doing what it's supposed to do. It's doing exactly what it's supposed to do. So you can't, you can't say, no, it don't work. It does work. So, I mean, you may like it, you know? It, no, everybody's, I just happen to have a lot of trees and a lot of shade, which is good for Florida because it's so friggin' hot down here that you just, that's what you want. You want to have the shade, you know. Um, but if you live in other parts of the world, the country and wherever, and, you know, that's, when you get lots of sun, this will be great for. Fabulous. I buy a bunch of them if I had a swimming pool in the sun. I buy about four of them and let them float around in the pool. You know? Yeah. That looks cool. And that's just one of the ones that just go straight up. They don't do anything else. It's, these are the little tiny ones that go straight up. And then I have one more here. See if I, as soon as I get over it, it, it basically turning itself off. So um, there you go. And there's the other one. I think that's the last one. It just that's a squirter, just a squirter kind of thing. So, anyways, yeah. So I guess that's it. Um, yeah, I think it it does work. So. Um, Yes, but make sure it's in direct sun. Like I said, I have to repeat it because I said, you're not supposed to put it in the sun. Well, it's solar. It has to go in the sun. I don't know where I read that, but I couldn't find it. So I must have misread. So that's okay. Um, but, you know, at least at least you know. I've done, done different um, fountains that I have in my backyard. And it's just got to have a lot of sun you know, in order for it to work, so, and it'd be great for a pond, too, you have a pond, and you just wanted that to float around in your pond, yeah, it'd be fun, so, you know, and if it works, you know, long enough, a half a day, and then you get shade, it even would work for that, if you, as long as you got sun most of the day, or half the day, I mean, it depends, you know, I mean, I like it. I really do. I just wish it would work for me. For what I want it for. I really do. So, but, yeah, it is what it is. So, anyways, um, yeah, so I got that at Walmart. So, if you're interested and you think it'll work for your home and what you have, then, yeah, definitely go buy it. Because I think you'll like it. So, anyways, um, that's it for today, and, uh, Monkey says she's out for now. I'm gonna go, we're gonna go to Walmart to buy a small air conditioner for our bedroom. <laughs> it's hot, and the air conditioner that's in the kitchen is not going all the way to the bedroom. So, we're gonna get another one and put in the window there. So, that'll work. So, we're off to Holy World, and, uh, after I put this, uh, um, video up. So, anyways, so stay tuned for more, more videos, and, uh, hope you enjoy the video. Um, you know, if I could see a little bit better, I could read better. <laughs> yeah, so, anyways, um, you know, and, uh, watch, watch Shea Bear, Shea Bear's, uh, 1000's videos. He's got some good ones up there right now. And he filmed my car last night. He thought there was somebody in my car. And he went to the car and there was nobody in there. But by the cameras, um, it looked like there was somebody sitting in my seat. So now I'm worried if uh, 
my SUV is haunted, like maybe somebody died in it, and I don't know about it. I mean, you don't know where the cars come from exactly, or who owned them, or, you know, and, and don't have to be in a car wreck, it, you know, it doesn't have to have that. You know, people die all the time, they just have heart attacks and, you know, or seizures or something. So, it's a little worrisome. But anyways, I love my car though. It's a nice car. Um, yeah, so we're going to look at the video again tonight. He did put it up to show you, um, yeah, what we were seeing. And there was nothing flashing in my car. So there was no reason for that shadow like you saw. Um, so go check it out and see what you think about what was there. And, uh, yeah, a little creepy. Anyways, um, yeah. So Micah says she's out for now, y'all. Have a great rest of the weekend if I don't get another video up. And stay cool because it's hot where I'm at anyways. Hot, hot. So Micah says she's out. Bye, y'all.